everyone and welcome back to my channel Beauty was just budgeting my name is Anna today as requested we are gonna do a little vanity declutter and organization so over on my Instagram polls I asked what video you would like to see next and it was 60% the vanity organization and then 40% to see my makeup collection so since they were pretty close to each other I am gonna do both but since this one scored a bit higher I'm gonna do this one first and then the next video will be my makeup collection so definitely follow me on my Instagram to participate in those polls like I mentioned I want to make content that you are all interested in and want to see otherwise why am I making videos so definitely check out my Instagram if you haven't already and as always we're going to use some very affordable items to organize my vanity today and I'm really excited because I can't close some of my drawers and I like everything nice and tidy and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button down below and let's just jump right into it. So to organize today, I got these all from Target. So this came in a two pack, so it's two for a dollar, so 50 cents each. They're really nice and affordable. I tried going back to get some more, but I haven't been able to see them, but I really like the price and the quality of this. And then also I bought two packs of these, but these come in a three pack for $2, which I also got from Target. And then I used some of these for my kitchen already, but these come in a four pack for $2. So they definitely have something similar like this at Dollar Tree. However, it has like a little rubber grip in there. They are a lot more narrow and I need something more wider. So that's why I went to Target. So this right here is something I wanna work on. This is definitely a lot of clutter for me. I want to move my perfumes and just kinda use like my most used stuff in this little dish. So I'm gonna focus on this first. So it's actually a pretty perfect fit. It fit all my perfume in there and look how much space they already cleared up. I know I have these two hanging out, but hey, that's definitely fine. So I decided to put my perfumes, body sprays and lotions here and then all of my hand sanitizers here. So I went to like two or three different Targets hoping to find these again because for 50 cents, this is amazing quality and it looks really nice and chic. For right now, I'm just gonna put the little extras that didn't fit in there just right there. So it still looks nice and tidy. And I'm just gonna leave like my moisturizers and my face primers and my makeup remover in here because these are things I do grab every day. So just nice to keep it nice and contained in one spot. And these I actually got from Dollar Tree and I just put some little pads in there for when I'm ready to remove my makeup. I just have Q-tips when you know I make a little mistake. So it's right there nice and handy and I also got this from Dollar Tree. They also have gold and like a royal blue color. Obviously I love these, I picked up a lot. So these are really cluttered so I'm just going to have this one be like my makeup tool such as the tweezers, eye sharpener, eyelash curler and then have this be like my eye primer. Definitely think it's a lot more functional than what it was. It has all my everyday use in there. So I actually got this tray from Hobby Lobby. It was 90% off and it had like a little windmill picture in there. So I just got some silver glitter paper and spray painted it white and then laid two pieces in here and just kind of glued it down. And then this actually got from Dollar Tree. So I obviously made it. So I got the glass from Dollar Tree and then the little gems and I just did some tape so like the roses go in there. And I got the fake flowers from there as well. I got two bouquets, um, so it was only $4 to make and it looks really nice. I obviously need to rearrange it a little better, but I am really happy with how this looks. And I already had this organized, but again, all three of these glasses are from Dollar Tree as well as the gems. So I have my face brushes, my eye brushes, and then the new ColourPop brushes. I got this from Marshalls. I haven't put a picture in there yet, but 
It was $2.50 on clearance. I thought it just went well. And if you know, I love sequins or anything sparkly. And this was another Dollar Tree DIY. So I just got this vase and stones from it, and then two bouquets of flowers and just stick them in there. And I actually got this candle when I said yes to the dress. I thought that was so cool because I love candles and the fact they gave me this, I just knew it was a perfect match. And then I got this from Burlington. It was a little pricey. So $17 for me, that was like, eh, cause I'm really cheap and like budget friendly. So we went to Italy for our honeymoon. So I thought that was cool. I love the color burgundy. I love coffee. I New York wine, but it's kind of hidden, but I want to go to New York one of these days. So I just thought this was really nice. And of course it's glittery. So that's why I got it. <laughs> so this is the drawer I'm having most difficulty with. So I got some new makeup and it's not fitting correctly. So let's just kind of adjust that. This tub I also got from Target three or two for $2. So it's pretty big and it's gonna fit all my eyeshadow palettes. So I'm just gonna rearrange them. So these are pretty organized. Again, I'm not gonna show too much because that's for a video where well, I'll go a little more in detail about what I use and what I have in my makeup collection. So I think I'm gonna like put this below here. It's what I got for my birthday, the little box of Libby pencils. So this has like my bronzer, blushes, contour. It has a little bit of everything. This is the beautiful mess that we are left with. So let's get organizing. So for the big tub, I'm gonna use for my highlighter. So this is it for my highlighters. I know this is technically a bronzer, but sometimes I do use it as a highlighter as well. So I'm just gonna put that back. I use this for all my blushes. These are all of my blushes. So since I don't have many bronzers and there's still some space right here, I'm gonna put my bronzers here. Bronzer, that's it. And there's still room for more. Never thought I'd see the day where I need a whole tin dedicated to falsies. Finding these Dollar Tree lashes, these I don't need a trim. They don't come off in the inner corner. And I use this Kish Lash Adhesive Black Glue and it works really well. These are the only falsies that I will use. Saw these at Dollar Tree as well. I don't think they're as nice as these ones. I mean, obviously these look way more fake and these look a little more on the natural side. But since these were from Dollar Tree, I thought, why not give this a try one day? I got these from Dollar Tree. It's a lash applicator. So these work better for me than tweezers. So definitely check them out. Perfect fit for all my eyelash stuff. And I'm gonna put it towards the back since I don't wear these too often. This size bin for my foundation and concealer and possibly finishing powders, we'll see. So I was able to fit all my foundations in here comfortably. I can fit my concealers, but I like being able to see everything and easily access it instead of like everything coming out. So I'm just putting my foundations and finishing powders in here. I think because there's only a few of these, it's a little silly to just put that in there. So I'm gonna put it on this side right here. this drawer and my lashes are back there. I actually thought I was gonna have to put some of the things in this drawer that we just did into here, but this is a hot mess and so is this drawer. So definitely needs to be a little more organized. Oh my gosh, there's more eyelashes. I forgot about these. My cousin was really thoughtful and knew that I liked these and she's been watching my videos. So she picked up these ones for me, which I haven't seen at my local Dollar Tree. So I'm really excited to try them out. And then also picked up an extra pair. These are literally the only eyelashes I can put on. Like I tried 
Kiss eyelashes, the Ardell, the Magnetic. Nothing worked on me except these Dollar Tree lashes. So now let me go back and put it in there. So I think instead, we're just gonna leave the drawer like this. It's technically there's some room back there. It's gonna be hard to take out. And since I have the space, I think I'm gonna put the eyelashes in the third drawer. And then also I found these. These are the magnetic eyelashes I was talking about. Really pretty, but I'll still use them. Let me just put regular glue on. And I'm gonna put these rolls of tape. I know what you're thinking, why the heck do you need tape? I use this for a precise eye look or if I'm like running out of time and don't have time to be precise, this just helps. And then I'm gonna put these eye tapes behind. Who would have thought I would have this many eyelashes? But it only cost me eight dollars because I got them all from Dollar Tree. <laughs> then I got from Michaels a while ago. I'm still gonna use it, but I'm gonna use it for my makeup wipes. So I am trying to actually not use as many makeup wipes because I am learning like it's bad for your skin. But I don't want to waste my money, and I just bought these. And these are actually forty nine cents at Ulta, so heck yeah, I picked them up. And then sometimes I just use them to kind of like wipe my hands off, or I use it for that, or to kind of like clean off my brush real fast. So I am trying to, once I run out of this, like use those reusable, like soft con pads that you can wash, but I definitely need to go through these first just so I get my money's worth. I know I, I'm so cheap, but hey, if you're on my channel, you're probably want to save money too. This is for my face sponges. So I actually got these in a pack of six for $7 on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below, but these are really good dupes for the beauty blenders. Can't believe it's $20 for one beauty blender and these do the exact same thing. Mom got me this in a little Easter basket. I haven't used it yet because we can't travel, but it is perfect for traveling. I like eco tools, so I'm just gonna put it in here. Put the beauty sponges in back because I use my e.l.f. total face sponge a lot more or my foundation brush and then I just put these here because I use the tape almost every day or every other day so I'll more likely reach for that. And then I just put the frozen box here. This is my extra drawer or things I coupon or gone through Ipsy. And like I mentioned in my last Dollar Tree haul. I found so many hard candy cosmetics setting sprays, so I picked up a bunch. So in here, I'm gonna put all the eyeliners. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it and got some inspiration and some ideas on how to organize your makeup or vanity area. And as always, I'll have everything listed down below, like where I got my mirror, my vanity, and the organization bins from. And let me know in the comment box down below what your favorite organization or vanity decoration you saw today. You know, I like to keep quality things on a budget, so that's what this channel is all about. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you all in my upcoming videos. Bye everyone.